Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, it's 11 o'clock Sunday morning, and we're standing outside the sports arena here in Los Angeles. A couple of thousand people standing out here waiting to go inside. Our tour for this day's events is Easy Romero from Low Rider Magazine. Easy, fill us in on what we're getting ready to experience today. We're getting ready to come into the show today. Today is uh, the LA Super Show, which is the biggest show of the year. And um, it's going to be a great experience for you if you've never seen a lowrider in your life. And I'm sure, um, I don't want to go into very much detail. I'd rather have you guys go in there and surprise yourselves with what you're going to see. So it's going to be something we're going to remember, right? Exactly, yes, it's sir. Gotta be, it's got to be pretty big because, I mean, there must be 10,000 people standing out here waiting to go inside. This is a, a big event every year. This is something people look forward to. Yes, they do, sir. Um, this is the event that all the events throughout the whole year lead to. Uh -huh. um, all the car shows that we have throughout the whole year lead to the big super show. So this is like the Super Bowl exactly. of okay. car shows. Yes, yes, exactly. That's exactly the word. And you got cars here from? We have cars here from as far down south as uh, Mexico. We have cars here from Sacramento. We get cars that come in from Denver, Colorado, Texas, uh, all the southwest states. Well, that's good. but. Most of these cars are our cars here in L.A., right? Yes, yes, they are. Most of them are our cars. From yes. right around here. Yes, they are. Well, enough of the preliminaries. It's time to go inside and see this big surprise. Please, let's promised. do. We're going to be impressed, right? Yes, you were, sir. <laughs> okay, we're inside now, and we are taking a look <laughs> at something that is absolutely what are we looking at here, Easy? Here, sir, we are looking at a, a compilation of vehicles that have come together from throughout the states, throughout the whole nation, basically, you might want to say. Uh, they've come together here to compose a car show. Uh -huh. This is the cream of the crop, the best of the best. There's now, nothing else that can compete with these vehicles out here. Now, I don't know that much about cars, but I know enough just kind of looking out there right now that these are very special cars. Yes, they are. They're extremely special. Um, these are not your regular cars that you may see out on the streets. These are fully customized cars. They have gone to extremes from gold dipping to uh, chrome plating engine, engine blocks. They, they have just gone through everything. So for a car lover, coming to a show like this today is like dying and going to heaven, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Especially if you're a lowrider car buff. Well, now, are these all lowriders? Uh, yes, they are, sir. Yes, they are. Lowriders in the sense that um, they are low cars lowered. We have antique, ve not antiques, but we have uh, vintage vehicles out here, um, and they're still considered lowriders. Well, let's, let's go out, let's, can we, we can go down and yes, get can. closer. Let's get down in there and see what this is like. Okay, here we go. We're going down for a closer look. Tell us a little bit about this. This is a great looking car. Thank you. It's a 58 Chevy Impala. Convertible, obvious. Original convertible. Uh huh. It's the original California car, what collectors are looking for. It's a collector's car. Wow. Very rare. Uh, now, you don't drive this car out on the street. Daily, not daily driven, but when I drive it, I drive it. You drive this car yeah. on the streets on of the Los street? Angeles? No, I come from around San Francisco area. Oh, you're San Francisco. I come from a town called Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, California. And what do people, what's the reaction when people see this car and you riding around in it? They don't believe I'm driving it. <laughs> Look at this car. That's a, that's a great car. Yes, they are. And like I said before, they would much rather make it as original as possible and show it that way. Uh, instead of customizing exactly, it instead a lot. Instead of customizing it. So the old ones kind of stay the way they were originally. Yes, they do. As close to original as possible. About the only modification that is done to a vehicle of this age is they may be lowered some. So this is the oldies car club of San Fernando Valley. That's a 47 Chevy. This is a 49 Chevy. Now here's one I remember. I'm old enough to remember this car right here. 1960 Chevy Impala convertible. Oh, that is, look at that. This is also another car that is completely stock. Uh, what? Stock. It's a, it's a restored to uh, originality. Yeah. And uh, as you can see from the show, we can go from 
stock to an extremely radical. Yeah, look, here's the extremely radical up here. And I don't know whether people can hear us because the music's kind of loud. That's part of it too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, the Lowrider magazine go, we go through the, through the trouble and through the expense so that we can provide music for everybody so everybody can have a good time and enjoy themselves. Now here's the car he was talking about that's so radical. Explain to us what we're seeing here. Okay, what we're seeing here is, is a 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Uh, they have gone to the, to the extreme with this car. This car is our 1992 Lowrider Car of the Year. This is the car of the year? Yes, it is, sir. Now, what would make this the car of the year? The, all the extreme modifications on the body, all the chrome and gold, uh, the suspension setup. Look up here. This is all gold inside here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's all chromed and gold. They have an excellent interior, modifications to the trunk, the doors. Uh, basically, the whole car is modified in one way or another. Wow. As you can see, this car is modified so much that even the undercarriage of the car is, is a, modified in one way or another. This car is sitting on a turntable with mirrors so that they can reflect the whole undercarriage with this chrome gold pinstripe paint and candy apple paint jobs. So that's what all the mirrors are for so that people can see what's been done underneath, underneath the, car. the car. Exactly, exactly. Because almost makes, every car here has got a mirror underneath. Yeah, just about. That's what makes this car Lowrider of the Year because you can see for yourself all the detail that's gone into There's it. There's a gold-plated muffler down there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The, the, the exceptional thing about these cars is in order for these cars to compete in one of our shows, they have to be operable. And every car that is in this show that is competing is operable. So this car could go out on the street yes, and it drive can. around. Yes, it can. These cars have to be turned on. They have to be moved forward and back and stopped on their own in order for them to be able to compete in our car shows. Look at this. Look at the dashboard. It's all gold. Yeah, 24 karat gold plating. Carburation's all in gold. Uh, all the exhaust is in gold, the rear end. All of this is gold down in here. Oh, uh, 24 karat gold plated now. Now real gold is just plated in gold. And look at your wheels here. That's gold? Yeah, those are custom made for Suicide Revenge 2. Wait a minute. Even his spare gas tank has a gold nozzle on it. Yeah, that's... Everything's got to be in gold, you know. At first, you know, we thought it was just a basic truck, lifted, a lot of noise, music, and everything. But then it's the art in it. If you look at it, the truck is twisted in every different position. Uh -huh. And it takes a lot of art and mind work to get it to that position. So it really is a work of art it in is. the truest sense. It is. And this is my son here, and he will give you oh, all the experience. Hi, Huel Hauser. How you doing? Your mom and I have been talking about your piece of art over here because that's exactly what it is how do you decide what it's going to look like what you're going to do to it next actually that's kind of a hard question it's a lot of just thinking and thinking and it's kind of like you really you don't know what it's going to look like until you actually do it you just got to try uh -huh. and then if it looks good then more power to you if not tear it down start again now how much else could you possibly do to this vehicle. I mean, this thing is configured in such a way I can't imagine you could add any more to it. Uh, believe it or not, I have about 25 to 34, 30 more modifications that I could do to this thing. Really? And look at the inside there. Now, you don't drive this around. No, it could be driven. It was driven in here, but we'd rather not. It'd take too long to clean. And this thing in the back that goes up, what is that called? It's called a double scissor lift. A double scissor lift. Right. Wow. I don't want to be rude, but how much money have you got in this thing? Total and complete with the new display and everything in the past seven years, we're roughly at about $175,000. Really? Now this is interesting. You've got bicycles here. Oh, very much so. Uh, over the years, it's just grown and grown and grown to where now, as you can see, uh, they've really come out. And not only that, we've had to extend uh, the classes. 
Man. Different classes of, are these called low rider bicycles? Exactly, uh, as an example, that yellow one over there might be considered a street custom. This right here would be like a full custom, you follow me? And then we got some radical stuff, that, uh, like that one that follows there, but it, uh, it shows the beauty in the art. Is this, is this your bike? Tell us a little bit about your bike, because this is spectacular. Well, I've had it for approximately about three years, and it took me about one year to get it like this. And that's pretty much it, you know. Now, you don't ride this out no, on the street. It's show material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is all gold mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. And you fix the seat yeah. up, and you've got... You look over here, Louie. You've got, uh, you've painted the, the, now did you do that yourself, the, no. the, the painting? No, Danny Galvis from DND Designs, uh -huh. he painted the mural. Wow, so there's a mural on your bike. And all of this is gold. Yeah. Boy, that is something. You gotta be proud of that. Yes, I am. Now, do you go from this to a car? Yeah. Yeah, I'm planning to get a car soon, hopefully by December. Yeah, but you'll always keep the bike, won't you? Yeah, and I'd like to send a special thanks to mom, dad, and my sister. Now, and did they, why do you say that? Because they, they all supported me. You know, a lot of my family members said, oh, you won't get it like you want it, you won't get it like you want it. And my mom, my mom and dad and my sister were always behind me. You know, oh, you'll get it done, mijo, you'll get it done. So, you know, I'd just like to send a special thanks to my mom, my dad, my sister Gina, and to God. Well, you got it done. It looks good. It's a good looking bike. What do you call that? Azteca de Oro. It means the golden Aztec. The golden Aztec. So people give their works of art names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The golden Aztec. Tell us about your bike. Yeah, well, you know, a couple, like nine months ago, you know, my, my friend just sold me this frame for 20 bucks. I said, I'll take it, you know, and I, little by little, I decided to start buying parts. You know, I try to buy as much as original parts as I could, you know, and I, so far, you know, I think I like it. <laughs> so you mean when you got this thing, it was just a frame. It was just a frame. No bundle or nothing. I did it myself. Wow. How did you know what to do? I really didn't. That's my first bundle job. And, you know, and then, and then after this one, I've bundled already three or four now other what, bikes. What is the word you're using? Bundle. Bondo. Yeah, that's that like like clay thing that you know, like to patch cars when they get in car accidents. You know that. Uh huh. Clay thing. That's what it is. Solid bondo. Oh, all of this. Yeah. This only like two bars that come along. So this all solid, and this solid. So this is just like two bars. I got you. Mm -hmm. And now, have you named yours? Yeah. Wicked memories. Now here are two guys from San Pedro, right? Yeah. yeah. San Pedro. San Pedro. Yeah. And you're here with your bicycle. Yeah. Which is the most amazing bike I've ever seen. That is very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now you were pointing out something to us. Could you show our viewers what you what you were pointing out to me in there? On the beach, the fish, I pump fish. Yeah, there's a fish in yeah, there. Yeah, there's oh, there's there five fish. Good. Five fish. You put five fish yeah, in the seat yeah. of your bicycle. Yeah. 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 Why did you do that? And they hand them my blood. This the the tank alarm. You thought this up. Yeah. 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 That's a very strange thing to do. Put fish in the seat of a bicycle. Yeah. 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 Because there's a lot of competition. I I talked to I talked to my brother. Hey, talked on something because there's a lot of competition. It's super so you were doing this to beat out the competition. Yeah. And here's something else that's going to beat them out. Look down there. Yeah, Look Scorpion. An honest to goodness live scorpion. Yeah. Yeah, this is scorpion for, I pay $50. My brother, that's for my display. Because the people come and check it out. Uh, yeah, a lot of people right here. So this is a gimmick you have to get people to look at your bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, it works. Yeah. yeah. Buy a fish and a scorpion. Yeah. And the bike is pretty itself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm standing here with two ladies who were came up to me and said that you were here doing what? Showing off the cars. Showing off, showing the, off cars. the cars. Now, now, how do you show off the cars? Get them all shiny and as good looking as they can be for everyone to enjoy them. Uh huh. Now, is this 
a car club, all of these cars? Yep, this is Style Car Club. And how are you associated with this club? My husband is the president. Oh, really? Yes. Now, do you know a lot about these cars? Did you know a lot about them before you married this guy, or did this come with the marriage? This came with the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what have you learned so far? Um, there are a lot of hard work and a lot of attention, and you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Yeah. Showing them off to the people now, for them to enjoy. Now, how are you connected with all of this? Um, her husband's my cousin. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a family, family. thing. This is yes. part of your. Oh, look over here. Yes. This is part That's of your. Husband. This is your husband's car. Yes. So you go out riding around in this thing? Yes, he just finished it. Um, for this show, for this show. Uh huh. And uh, he goes and shows it off, and people love to take pictures of it, and yeah. we just really enjoy that. Working so hard, and for everyone, it has such a pleasure to check it out. Now, where is he now? He's right over here. He's looking at other cars. He goes around and checks out all his competition. Now, do you get at all, I mean, does he show more attention to the cars? Or to well, you, do you ever? Well, he does show a lot of attention, and it gives him a lot of enjoyment. And because he's happy, you know, yeah. we're all happy. <laughs> yeah. But you've gotten into this thing, I can tell. Yeah, I really get a kick out of um you know, all the hard work and everybody enjoying it. Yeah, because it really, I mean, you watch everybody standing around, they really enjoy yeah, this. they've been really taking a lot of pictures, a lot of video, and um, they really appreciate the hard work that has been placed into it. Do you think the average person, I'm not talking about the people here, okay. but the average person out on the street has any understanding of how hard it is to do something like this? I think they appreciate it too. I really do. I think when we go driving down the street, they it catches their eye. They live it too. They just love all the cruisers and uh, low riders and the, how different they can do a car. Well, we found your husband, yes, just as we thought. We, we yeah. couldn't didn't know where you were, but you're going to show us a little bit something special here. Sure, I'll uh, raise it up for you and uh, lay it back down. Just All right. To show you how it's You're going to raise it up, and what does that mean? Um, the hydraulics, it's a, it's a pump that um, actuates cylinders with fluid, and uh, batteries uh, run the system. And when you hit a, a, a toggle switch, it activates the uh, pump, which puts fluid into the cylinders, which raises the car. I think I'm going to have to see. I've seen this on TV. I've never seen it in person. This is going to be kind of interesting. Okay, here he goes. Oh, wow. Now, can you do that while it's traveling down the road? Yeah. Do it again for us. Oh, man. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> Put it back down again. There we go. Oh, that's great. A yeah. lot of fun. That's a big kick out of the whole the whole thing. It's the, playing with the hydraulics, competing with other guys with hydraulics, doing hit the, hitting the switch back and forth. Yeah. I tell you, she's a good she's a good spokesperson. <laughs> I was watching. I was behind you. Oh, you were behind yeah. us the whole time. <laughs> watching. Because she really has gotten into this thing. Yeah, she she did. I was I was proud <laughs> watching her. <laughs> you did good. I did good. She did good. Yay. And I want to come, can I come riding with you sometime? Sure, anytime. Because anytime. that's got to be a trip. Yeah, it is. And a lot of bouncing around. Yeah. I'd love to drive up to KCET some morning <laughs> in this with it bouncing around like that. Yeah, yeah can, you look uh, cool. pull in like an airplane and uh, kind of land. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't know what hit them if we, if we pulled up with something like that. And, uh, and a low rider. And uh, we'll pick you up and take you down there. Hey, you got a date. Okay. We're going to do that. And this is your brother, this little brother. brother this has been great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Stand over there by the car. That's what we're going to be driving into KCT in one of these days, so y'all better get ready. <laughs> now, did you know much about this stuff before being over here today? About cars? Stuff yeah, like about that. these low rider things. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm from... Uh, California. I grew up around cars like this and stuff like that. And uh, you know, 
growing up, everybody wants a car like this, you know, as you're growing up. Well, well, you know what I thought would be a good idea would be LAPD should have a couple of those cars on hydraulics. Plain black and white, huh? Put a white, put a roll bar white. over it. Yeah. Put some hydraulics on it. Santa Barbara has one. What? Santa Barbara Police Department has one. You're a kid. Yeah, they have one. I was up at the show about a month ago. They have a, a on hydraulics. Car. It moves. Uh, I didn't think it. They said they were going to do it, but it had rims, custom paint job, all that stuff. See, fellas, you're letting Santa Barbara beat you to the punch here. Oh, uh, no, we got to catch up. You know, it must be that city budget, you know. We got to catch up. <laughs> that L.A. budget deal. I think that's what, what do you think? No, it's a great car. Yeah. It's a good show. Yeah, but I mean about you all having a car like that in the... See, we need to talk to Chief Williams about this. I think that would be part of your community-based policing, have a car like that, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Don't you? I think so, too. Whoa! Watch yourself. It's Boy, gonna that thing jumps want... all over the place. Yeah, it, you charge the batteries like a toy. You have to charge them all the time. Uh huh. Oh. Work. oh yeah. <laughs> now you go down the highway like this? Well, it's not not exactly legal too. Oh, it's not. But people still do it. Okay, now here are members of the New Illusions Car yeah. Club. Second time out. Second time here at this, show. at this show. Now, how much preparation does it take to get ready for a show like this? Weeks, months really? even, yeah. What kind of stuff do you have to do? Well, as far as polishing, detailing, there's a lot of polishing, detailing. Look at it this. It needs to be done on it. Now, who put that yeah, on the... I did all the work on the car. You did all yeah. of this? I do custom... I painted the whole club, actually. All so, the the club. when you have a club like this, does everybody have a different talent as far as what they bring they do, to the table? The, the whole thing about having a club is where everybody unites and helps each other out to fix up the cars the way they are. Uh huh. Because one person alone working on the cars just won't, it won't, won't do work. it, no. Yeah, this is tradition for the Chicanos, the Latinos. That, this is our heritage. This is our culture, and we're proud of it. Yeah, that's what that's this is what Lowrider's all about. Well, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know that I didn't know it was this big a deal. Well, it, it it's never gone to the forefront. Like I said, this has been going on from the 70s to the 60s, small scale, and thanks to Lowrider Magazine and all the clubs here, they just bringing it back up into the forefront, and we're known worldwide now. It's in the Japan, it's in the Europe, in the Sweden, it's it's worldwide now. Well, it's like the guys from the East Coast with their muscle cars. This is what, it, this is, the low rise is to Southern California. Yeah. And it's, it's worldwide now. It's a worldwide movement. Well, this is putting us on the map, Southern that's California. That's what it is. It's putting Southern California on the map. And it's something we, we rightly deserve. Uh, back in the 70s and 60s, we've gotten, low riders had a bad image. Is that basically uh, gangbangers associated with low riding. It's not the case anymore. My biggest obstacle is educating people how big our lifestyle is. And, the lifestyle I'm referring to is the lowrider movement that's spreading throughout. Well, it's been part of our Chicano community for decades now, but now it's spreading and crossing over into different uh, ethnic communities, be it the Anglos, Black, Asians. Well, now, uh, when you say lifestyle, what do you mean exactly? Well, for us, a lot of Chicanos, we feel it's a, a way of life, and you know, we the car plays a big role in our social interaction. Uh, we spend a lot of time in preparing our cars and taking them out. It's, uh, when people ask me to define what's low riding, uh, I could sum it up in one word, that's pride. And a lot of people put a lot of individual feelings and expression in their vehicle. That's why every uh, vehicle is uh, what I would call an artistic expression. You know, the, the vehicle itself is uh, the canvas and the artist is uh, the, the car show builder. How far can you take these things before you reach the limit? Is there a limit? The only limit to, the only limitation is your imagination. That's pretty much the bottom line. And once you got an imagination, you could do anything. Now, do you all go out riding in this thing very much? Yes, every day practically. And what kind of reaction do you get when you're going down the street? Um, a lot of people say thumbs up, they like it. Yeah. I get a lot of that from the elderly. <laughs> really? Yeah. Make you feel good? Oh, yeah. You know, that's my pride and joy. Now, when you say your pride and joy, what do you mean by that? It comes from, from inside. That's where it comes from. Um, that's all I can say. It just comes from inside, straight from the heart. 
So in other words, this is a lot more than just a than car. Just a car. Yeah, very much so. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.